If I asked you right now, where am I? You would probably say the Skyblock Cub, right? Wrong. This is my Skyblock Island. Hello, what's up guys, Dirtis here, and this time I just finished my biggest ever build project. This took me around 53 hours working on and off over the last 6 months. I built the Skyblock Hub on my island. This all started in the summer of 2020 when I was just making my way through the early and mid game part of Skyblock. I had come across a few really epic islands and I wanted to make my own island way better. My first try was to build a large spruce forest thing floating above my island. After a few weeks of having it, I decided it was very plain and boring, so I destroyed it. Around this time, I was starting to wonder if replicating the hub on my island could be cool, but I decided it would be too much work and started constructing another build floating above my island. All I managed to do this time was to make a small pond and cliff before discarding the project. I had started to record it, but not having replay mod at that time, I had just been recording it with another profile, so it wouldn't have been a very interesting video anyways. After dismantling that, I started to think about the hub again. I decided to give it a try, but was unable to do anything about it as I went on a short vacation. Thank goodness for the trip though, because when I logged back on to Skyblock afterwards, I thought they had added an entirely new island. This, of course, was the hub revamp. It took me a few weeks to get used to the new hub, but after that, I began work on my island. And you might say, well, Dudders, you're not the first person to do this. And yes, this is technically true, but I'm almost 100% sure that I am the first one to do this without mods. Then how did I do it? Well, while I built, I positioned my brother's account in the real hub so that I could move around and see what I was doing. It's definitely more work, and I'm sure I could have done this a lot quicker if I had used mods like Lematica or Schematica. And to be honest, I'm not really sure why I didn't. But with that short history lesson over, I'm sure you want to see the time lapse already, so here it is. With over 54 hours of footage, making the time lapse as short as possible without completely skipping over some buildings and interiors was quite hard. I thought it might be a little bit boring to watch almost 9 minutes of me building, so I'm still going to talk a bit to hopefully make it a little less boring. When I first started building this, I was very new to replay mod, so at the beginning there's a lot of movement. Later on, towards the end of the time lapse, I started making the movement slower and have less swooping around. I think I like it best with less movement since it's a little easier to see what's happening, but tell me what you guys like best in the comments. One of the things I really enjoyed about building this was getting to explore the hub thoroughly. In normal Skyblock there's little to no reason to really look around, so while building, 
I discovered places I didn't even know existed. One of my favorite of these places was this small patio or dining area. It just feels like a nice peaceful spot whereas most of the hub just feels kind of busy. Since I was still playing Skyblock while doing this, you can kind of watch my progression through Skyblock by means of looking at my armor, going from early mid game to decently end game. One process that I learned that helped me build was by grouping the blocks up into shapes, like squares, letters, and basically anything that would be memorable. Some of the buildings that are replicated are slightly outdated by now, including the Pet House, which now has different blocks for walls, and the Slayer House, which is completely different. Some people asked if I was going to update them, but I think having the older versions is a bit more interesting since it's different. A few of you might want to know which part was the hardest to make, and no, it actually wasn't the mountain. Although it is the largest section of the hub that makes up just one thing, it was pretty easy to build since it was just a lot of lines and squares. I think one of the hardest parts to build was Plumber Joe's house since it was so intricate and detailed. Another building that was hard to make was the brewing shop since the shape and gradient was really difficult to copy.
Everything was going great as I was drawing near being three quarters done, and I was building almost every day. The downtown area by the coal mine had shot up super fast and had really filled the big empty space. Oh yeah, then there was Dante. He was already making it difficult to build by bleaching all the houses of their colors, but then he just turned it into a slime and wrecked the place. Before the actual battle happened, I was quite worried as it seemed like the perfect time for the admins to destroy the hub and then just do another revamp. Thankfully that didn't happen and I was able to find things that hadn't been affected by Dante to build until everything was fixed. The finish was drawing near and I could see the end in sight. All that remained was to fill in a large area of empty space and then do a few small things. Normally at the end of projects, the last bit seems like it's the easiest and goes by fast. But for me, this time it seemed to last forever and I couldn't wait for it to end. Placed the last few blocks with some of the people I had met while I built around me. The final carpet was placed, and after so much building, hundreds of magical mushroom soups, I was done! I doubt I'll ever make another project like that. Although it was rewarding, the actual build process was a little boring since I was just replicating someone else's builds. Even though it was a bit dull to build, I still had loads of fun doing it and met a whole bunch of people. I have some plans for the future, including skyblock and building, but those won't be for a bit. Now that I'm not trying to do two things at once, I should be able to upload more, so hopefully I'll have lots of new tutorials and time lapses coming soon. Thanks for watching, I hope you had a nice day, and happy building! But, before this video ends, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who supported me and donated to this project. Without all of you, I would have definitely quit months ago. Here's a list of everybody's names, and it's mind-boggling how long it is. All the blogs for this were more than paid for by at least five times. Anyways, thanks again. Hope to see you at my next video. Bye!